my son's a career. He is my oldest son. He's 10 years old now. Alhamdulillah. And he goes to the Muslim Scouts. Okay. And in the Muslim Scouts, they do this like Muslim, Muslim Olympics. Yeah. It's really cool. You have like 1,000 children there, 800 or 1,000 children in this auditorium and, and, and they're doing, you know, Olympic running and all the different type of sports. I wanted to give him advice. And I said to him, you know, Zakaria, it's not about winning. He was doing the 400 meter race. I said, it's not about winning, Zakaria. It's about being the best version of yourself, having a sense of ihsan, right? Because Allah has given you tools and gifts. You don't know what they are, but you know they're amazing and you want to use them to the best of your ability. And if you use them to the best of your ability, this is shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because ihsan is linked to shukr in my view. Because Allah has given you tools, use them excellently as best as possible. And this is a sign of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You could win Zakaria, but you didn't do your best and you really failed. And you could lose and do your best and you were truly successful because you, you had ihsan. He went, Baba, that's deep. So I was giving him this advice. I said, just be yourself, just express yourself. It's not about winning or losing. I just want you to be the best that you can be. So. It starts on your marks, get set. It was phenomenal. He was going so fast. He was like, oh my God. Like he looked like, the, he was like in his own. You know, like, you know when you have children as a father, you know when your child is like in that very rare moment, self-expressive, not caring what people think. In that age, they care a little about what mom thinks, dad thinks, other children think. But he was like in the moment, he was in a social spiritual vacuum. He was like, I was like so like, I was overwhelmed, yeah. And um, I had the Ilyas, my other son, on my shoulders and lots of Asians, some continent conservative lot there. And I'm the kind of guy that does, I don't care what people think now. I'm 36 years old, I don't give a damn. I got Ilyas on my shoulders, I'm wearing a Bruce Lee top, I got some crazy tracksuit, I'm more disheveled, I got wearing some crazy boots. I'm going to the middle of the Olympic Park going, Come on Zakaria, beautiful baby. I'm holding a mirror, some uncle, beautiful baby. Running around, excellent Zakaria, brilliant. And I was in the moment, I was like, wow. He came second, alhamdulillah. When he stopped, he looked at me as if it was, you know, I found a part of myself that I haven't found before. Yeah? These are very rare moments, right? And I'm thinking to myself, why did I react that way? Because I noticed an attribute in Zakaria that I believe deserved praise. I noticed something in Zakaria that I thought as a father deserved some praise. Now we do this all the time, don't we? When we hear great poetry of Iqbal, SubhanAllah, right? When we see our famous nasheed artists, we're like, wow, what a great nasheed. We give them a standing ovation, we clap, we applaud. We, we all the time praise people for their aptitude and their abilities. Mo Farah, the Olympic runner. Even when Mo Farah was doing the Olympics, I even stood up saying, come on Mo, right? And I was like, wow, what a brilliant runner. I like boxing when I see great boxers. Recently, Anthony Joshua fought Klitschko. He got knocked down in the sixth round. He got back up. The tenacity, the sagacity. I was like, whoa, inspirational, right? We do this all the time. We give people a standing ovation. We praise, we clap, we say well done because we notice attributes in people that deserve due praise, right? Look at this universe. We have the ability to rash for insights. We have consciousness. We have this amazing complexity. We have physical laws in the universe. If they were different, we wouldn't have life. We have this life-sensitive arrangement of stars and celestial objects that if they were different, we wouldn't have conscious life on Earth. Look at Earth, we have plants that move with the sun. We have animals that could stand their weight many times over. Look what's happening on this planet. We have seeds that germinate because of the heat of forest fires. They only germinate from the heat of forest fires. We have birds that can fly for days at a time without truly sleeping because they have two parts of the brain. One sleeps, one's awake and one, one part of the brain has, has had enough. It wakes up and the other part sleeps. And yet some of us, we can't give Allah a standing ovation. We can't praise Him and glorify Him and say Allahu Akbar.